Hello everybody, so Kyle Thero here, welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we are going to be working for the San Andreas Highway Patrol. We're going to be taking out the 2014 Dodge Charger that I have in this highway pack that I'm currently using. Uh, we're going to be looking for mostly uh, traffic violations this early morning in this uh, rather cloudy, overcast kind of day. As you see, we have our radar system turned on in here. Uh, we do have ALPRs on top, so I will be turning on the ALPRs as well. Uh, we're going to be down in my usual spot here, where uh, I like to pick off people that are uh, speeding down the highway, going up 15 out to the uh, county. So we're going to be out here on patrol, and we'll see what comes our way. All right, we got somebody ping doing 72. I thought it said 74, but I guess I got him at 72 in a uh, 60. So we're going to be getting them right now. They're in the number one lane. Uh, they're the yellow blimp on my uh, mini map over there. Looks like it's this black sedan. Oh, somebody with expired registration. Do you like the light package on this uh, car? It is very, very cool. I'll let you guys see the front of it here. It's very uh, Christmas tree like. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Florida Highway Patrol a little bit with the uh, lights in the ram bar there. Uh, 114, a dispatch going to be out uh, facing west on US Route 15 just before the 13th. Need a. Uh, 1028 on an Oracle 41 Golf Adam, Ranger Adam 223. 41 George Robert Adam 223. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Assistance Go ahead and send me an additional Adam. unit. So there's no registration, there's no insurance, there's n the owner of this vehicle is unknown, so. Dispatch 2 the 12 inbound code 3. I'll take the area. I'm gonna stay like this. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Vehicle has no insurance, has no registration, nothing like that. Hey, appreciate you coming out. Uh, vehicle has no insurance, no registration, and no owner. So, gonna see what's going on here. Good morning, sir. My name is Trooper Thero. Whoa, when I'm walking past your window. My name is Trooper Thero with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Uh, reason for the stop is I got you uh, locked back there doing 72 in a 60. Do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance for me? Appreciate it. You don't have that stuff? Okay, you're refusing to show it to me. All right, uh, Jeff North. Okay. Uh, is there? Can I ask the questions about the? Can't ask about that stuff. Okay. Um. There we go. Uh, is there any reason why you're driving without a registration? I rent this vehicle. They didn't give me one. Okay. What about the insurance? Insurance is too expensive. Yeah, but you got to have it, man. It's the law just in case an accident happens. Well, uh, just sit tight and I'll be right back with you. All right. So that was cool. You actually could uh, ask some of those questions. We'll stop the pad. Let the uh, deputy up there talk to him. Jeff North. All right, we got nothing there. He has a concealed carry. I'm going to get him out of the vehicle. He's going to be uh, placed under arrest for further investigation. I'm not going to... Uh, well, he's going to be detained. All right, sir, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me? All right, appreciate that. Wow, hold up! And then uh, just do me a favor. Go ahead and follow me over here off to the side of the highway so we're not so close to traffic. All right, you're good right there. Appreciate it. Uh, just real quick, do you got anything illegal on you? Knives, drugs, guns, RPGs, flamethrowers, anything like that? Don't know, check for yourself. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you uh, giving me consent to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure you don't have anything, okay? Well, let's see what he's got here. A small bottle containing a clear liquid, rusty spoon, and a smartphone. Alright, what's up with this uh, clear liquid? 
Oh, okay. Let me go check it out here. We'll see what it is. Let my partner hang out with him. While we do that, we're going to also search the vehicle and make sure there's nothing in it. A handgun and a briefcase full of cocaine, a duffel bag filled with baggies of white powder. Huh. All right. Well, he's under arrest. All right, so go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me. You're going to be placed under arrest today for uh, possession of narcotics. Uh, let me see. I have my partner arrest him. Yeah. I have my partner arrest him right now. You might be facing charges with uh, intent to distribute if I uh, find out there's cocaine in these uh, baggies of white powder. Or with white powder. Take a look and see here. I haven't been doing this in the recording, so like I said I, uh, before, I like to mix it up for you guys and give you some with it and some without the extensive investigation. Which I did forget to put a vest on, that's why I'm doing that first. Alright, let's go ahead and do a field test. I'm not really concerned about the clear liquid, I'm kind of concerned with this. We're looking to see if it's cocaine. This duffel bag filled with baggies of white powder. Okay, it's not cocaine. He still might get uh, intended distribution either way. According to this, it's a lot of uh, a lot of baggies. Positive for meth. There you have it. Okay. Got a briefcase full of cocaine and a duffel bag full of uh, meth that's ready for distribution. So this is going to be escalated. So we're going to go ahead and create an arrest report for him. Drug possession. Uh, let's see. Possession of cocaine. Possession. Oh, I'm not sure about that because I'm going to actually get him for the meth. Let's see. Possession of methamphetamine and possession with intent to distribute. There we go. And that's what we're going to hit him with. We're not even going to hit him with the uh, ticket for the uh, speed. Lucky day on that part. <laughs> If you can call it that. Alright, let's go ahead and call PT for him. Which is going to be our backup there. We're going to have a tow truck come pick this thing up. Because it's not registered or anything. And then... Yeah, he's getting taken away right now. Uh, the tow truck should be here. Oh, it's on that side. There it is. So we're waiting for the tow truck to get here, and then after that, we'll be code four, and uh, we'll be 10-8 back in our spot. But before I, or when I pull over the next person, I will do my best to try to remember to look up the court case for this guy so I don't forget it when we go get towards the end of the video, because I know I'll forget. Oh, my God. Uh, outstanding warrant going the other way. Well... I already turned around, so nothing I could do about that. Let me go ahead and unmark that. So, we'll be back in our spot, and uh, we'll see what else comes our way. Wow, this guy's flying up next to me. Alright, well, we got a uh, white jackal here with an outstanding warrant for the RO, so we're going to be pulling them over. Didn't even get a chance to get my radar finished and fully set up. Well, reset, I should say. The white jackal here in the number one lane has an outstanding warrant according to an ALPR hit. And, I mean, as far as pacing is concerned, I got him doing nine over, so that gives us probable cause. Pull him over. More or less from the uh, camera. Right there, so he can see the 60, unless he runs it down. All right, before we start this, let's go ahead and check the court case so I don't forget for Mr. North here. Uh, this is the guy that was just on the last traffic stop here. Uh, he was sentenced to two years, seven months in prison and was fined a total of $28,000. Wow. Okay. Well, that sucks for him. And then uh, this vehicle here, the... Oh, registration is expired and the RO... Has a arrest warrant for attempted burglary if he's inside of it. I don't know if he's in it or not. So, 
114 to dispatch. Gonna be out with a white jackal facing uh, north on the 15 just before the 13. Need an additional unit. ARP, AALPR hit for outstanding warrant. Doesn't sound like code 3, but appreciate you saying that. Alright, there we go. Backup is on scene. It is... Oh, I didn't even check to see... It's Occupy times 2, it looks like. Hey, you got an AOPR hit for outstanding warrant. It's showtime. Yep, it's showtime. Good morning, folks. My name is Trooper Thero with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is I was pacing you here. I can smell a strong odor of narcotics from inside the vehicle. I was uh, pacing you in my vehicle, and I noticed you were doing uh, 69 and a 60. You can see right here in the, the, so the speed limit sign that it's 60 right here. You got your uh, license, registration, and proof of insurance? I appreciate that. Uh, passenger, do you have your ID on you, too? Victoria Justice appreciate. and Tom Corleone. All right, I'll be right back with you. So I don't think none of the, or I don't think any of these guys are the RO. Uh, maybe the passenger was. Let's see. Look in our system here. Uh, uh nope. Laura Collins is not in the vehicle. Who has the arrest warrant? Victoria is in there. It says cop. <coughs> I've never seen that before. That's a first. Look at that. It says she's a cop. Huh. That is definitely a first. Tom Corleone. I wonder if she's working a case and she's undercover. Everything's good with this guy. That is cool. That is a first for me to see. I I have never seen that before. That is really cool to see. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, have a chat with these guys again. Gonna have to cut him a break if that's a cop over there. All right, guys, here's all your information back. I appreciate your uh, cooperation so far. Uh, just real quick, have you done any drugs recently? No money, no drugs? Oh, okay, where are you coming from? From hell. All right, where are you heading to? Heaven? You go see a friend. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Uh, can I ask him about what's inside the vehicle? Why can I not ask him? Oh, I guess that's not a thing. I guess. No? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, I, you know what? Can you guys do me a favor? Can you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me? Both of you? Thanks. I appreciate that. Wait up! Let's go ahead and stand right there, sir. Wow! Hold up! Ma'am, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and come with me over here? Strong odor of alcohol, huh? She's a cop? Go ahead and stand right here for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. All right, sir. Go ahead and come with me real quick. I'll have you uh, stand over here so I can talk to each one of you and be able to listen to each of you two at the same time. So, uh, real quick, I am... Uh I'm pulling you guys out of the car here because my partner said that he uh, started to smell some sort of narcotic coming from the vehicle there. Um, just real quick, uh, you got anything illegal on you or anything like that? No, sir, I'm harmless. Okay, you haven't done any drugs, right? No drugs. Drugs make you sick. Okay, well, just for my safety and my uh, partner's safety, I'm going to go ahead and be patting you down and make sure you don't, okay? Wire cutter. Okay. I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and have you just Can I have him sit? I thought there was a way you can make him sit. <coughs> well, I'm gonna just have my partner stand here and hang out with you, okay? I'm gonna talk to her real quick. Alright, ma'am, just real quick. Uh my partner was getting uh a strong odor of narcotics coming from the vehicle. Do you have anything illegal on you? Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. I'm gonna pat you down and make sure you don't, okay? So, strong odor of alcohol is no big deal to me. I, I don't care. She wasn't driving. 
Condom, smartphone, a plane ticket, and a postcard. Oh, okay. One of those kind of parties. All right, just uh, go ahead and uh, hang out here for me just for a sec, because I'm going to search the vehicle and make sure there's no narcotics, okay? All right, let's see what we got in the vehicle. Kind of taking them over the ringer here, especially being that she's a uh, cop. I shouldn't be doing that, but who knows? Let's see here. A wrapped brick containing brown powder on the passenger side. Hmm. Okay, let's see what it is. <coughs> on the passenger side. Kind of curious to see what it is. It's on her side, and my partner did say he was smelling it from over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I was trying to mute. Alright, it's positive for marijuana. We'll just RP that I took a sample of it, just to check it. But I'm, I, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see it, because... Obviously she's a cop, so... She might be working an undercover thing or something like that. I can't, like... I can't question her like that to see if she has or... Or if she is or isn't. Alright, ma'am, just real quick, I'm just noticing the smell of alcohol from your breath. I'm going to do a uh, BAC check on you just to make sure uh, you're not way over Thanks. the limit here. And you're in need of medical attention. Okay. You're definitely over the legal limit, but not in need of uh, medical attention. So, I'm going to go ahead and just say you need to uh, continue to sit in the passenger seat, alright? And just uh, let him keep driving. So, I'm going to go ahead and have you... Uh, Sit back in the vehicle. Just uh, go ahead and hang out in there for me. I appreciate your cooperation. All right, off you go. Typical. Yeah, typical. All right, sir. So I noticed that she's been drinking. Um, I'm just making sure you haven't been drinking, okay? That's all. Because I don't want her driving. What you guys were doing, and that's the right thing to do there. You were driving, and she wasn't. As I'm losing frames. There we go. All right, cool. I appreciate everybody's cooperation here. You know what? You did nine over. I'm cutting you a break today for being so cooperative with me. I'm not even going to write you a ticket, okay? I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, have you uh, get back in your vehicle and take off. I appreciate your guys' cooperation again. Probably questioning why my search didn't pick up a brick of weed, so it is what it is, though. I appreciate the backup. Thank you. So, they're going to be on their way. The uh, owner of the vehicle is not in the vehicle right now. Who knows, maybe that's the reason why there's a brick of uh, marijuana in there. But, uh, yeah, that was probably not the right move, but... The way I wanted to RP it out, that was the way it was going to go. So, we're going to be code 4, and we'll be back out 10-8 again. All right, we're being asked to respond code 2 to a traffic brake assist, so we're actually going to head over there right now. Um, it's a little far away, but it's one of those call-outs that don't always come my way, so I definitely wanted to check it out. So I'm going to be driving over there right now and uh, seeing what it's all about. This truck's let me by. All right, let's start the traffic brake, see what they want me to do. Wait, it said something. What? Oh, man, it's killing my game again. All right, press Y when you're ready to start the truck. Look behind you while performing the traffic brake to have better control. Okay. Well, this truck's going to be in front of me, but... continuing the traffic break. I'm not sure what all they want me to do here.
Maybe there's an accident up ahead or something. Oh, I'm causing an accident on the other side of the highway. Nope. No. Oh, yeah, there's an ambulance up here. Okay, cool. So it must have been an accident or something, and they were just getting somebody out of the road. So that was pretty cool. That was a different kind of call out. I enjoy doing stuff like that. It's always like the typical everyday stuff you would see on the on the roads and not always a shootout or a chase and whatnot. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.